shouldn't be bone chilling, like freezing. In and my it office. is because I haven't done what you asked me to do, which was to fix something with the heater in your office so that vents properly and bad husband. Yeah. And now it is on the schedule. Yes. It's imminent. Warmth is, is on its way. And this is not really what we're going to talk about today because I, you always have to talk about the weather first. You know, we're just talking about the weather in my office, which is basically a refrigerator because there's a chance that what we're going to talk about is too heavy and too controversial and will be too volatile and uh -huh. we'll have to go back to cold uh, office cold office and needing a hoodie okay yes so i said something yes. to you uh today when we were and you right away yelled you were like Rrr. no you didn't yell but you got you got i like, got fiery and i was like okay we'll just talk about it on the podcast which is that i was like you can't really trust women in the sense of with secrets because they'll tell their girlfriends anything not anything you think anything but there are modifiers to this. But please continue. Well, like, For I you it's just one big ladies yap everything to each other. But it's it's really not that. There's modifiers. There's nuance to it. I've observed that you've told your girlfriends. You have like several girlfriends that you're really close with, mm -hmm. uh, and there, you know, you have many friends, but you have a few girls that you're really tight with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have found that you will say things to them. That I would never say to my dude friends about you. Like, you'll say things to them about me that I would be like, where I'm like, fuck, you said that to them? And they're like, yeah, I mean, that's girls that, you know, we're in, we open up. And I'm like, I would never say that kind of thing about you. Okay, but it's, 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 okay. Like I feel, no, here's some nuance. Can I just tell you my nuance or do you have more you want to say on that? I guess I should hear your new one. Because also there's absolute hypocrisy in what you're saying because you say shit. You walk around saying things to our friends that I'm like next to you in front of you while you're on the phone and me going like, don't you, say that. Don't that's say true. That. You're because, like, ah, blah, 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 Because blah, blah. you have a, a manual, like, like the rise and fall of the Roman Empire <laughs> manual on what I'm allowed to talk about to, in public yeah. or to people and what I'm not. You're very private. I'm much less private than you. Right. So, so when I'm like, oh, so I'm not talking don't about controversial things. They don't things. need to know that. I'll, and you're like, who gives a shit? I'm like, well, let me tell you the ripple effect of how this is going to go now that you've said that to them. And it's the it's the female trigonometry that happens. <laughs> Once you open your mouth, then it's like, oh, well, did you know she said blah, blah, because he blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, great. Jenna, now next time at dinner, I have to Jenna, deal with I'll that. be like. Hey, yeah, we had to go to the doctor for Easton at a hangnail. And you'll be like, shh. And then I'll be like, uh, I thought it was a hangnail, but it was nothing by it. I gotta go. And you're like, I, I said that that we don't get hangnails in our house. And I said that that their kid has a hangnail and I gave them it. Now, if we have a hangnail. So your things that you say are like, I'm like, I didn't fucking, was that subchapter five of vol volume two? It like, is. That's why you don't have to worry about it. Just shut just your shut mouth and listen to your wife. Just don't and say anything to And life will be anybody. smooth. No, just, but you think that, okay, here's the thing. First of all, girlfriends that are dating talk more intimately about sexual anatomy phenomena. Yeah. <laughs> Married women don't really do that. Okay, that's fair. That's I, I would never, I don't want to hear about another woman's okay. husband. And, okay. I, and I would never talk about us do and you, our intimacies. Do you feel that? That uh, beyond what we've already shared on this podcast, okay, yes. <laughs> which is pretty yeah, much which everything. Which is really hypocritical because we've said everything. Yeah. But do you feel, and I don't even want to know necessarily because I don't think I could take it, like with some of your girlfriends that you've shared more about intimate things about me that I would probably not do to you? Like you do it, you would say something I would not. I think it's, I try not to ever talk about you in that way mm -hmm. just because... I just like you would be like something that's not a big deal for me. Like it's not a big deal for you <laughs> is a big deal for you. And I was like, why is that a big deal? Like you think it would be vulnerable to say like, oh, he's got stress about this job. And you're like, you told him that. I'm like, what? We all have stress about work. What's, yeah, but, what's so novel but about you would, that? But you would be like, yeah, he's embarrassed. Like he shit his pants today. <laughs> and like, <laughs> yeah. I used an example. And you would be like, if I shit my pants, that would be hilarious. And I'd be like, don't tell don't tell your friends that I shit my pants. Like, <laughs> this is an example. We're using oh an example. Oh my God, you've not shit your pants. Wait, I, I've not shit my pants in so long. 
focus. <laughs> now that I've got you wearing diapers, it's all different Maybe now. Maybe I do shit my pants, but you just never know. But but you would say like, oh my God, he's so embarrassed. He shit his pants. I would never. I would never. <laughs> you would never say ever. that. Because it would embarrass you. <laughs> yeah. So maybe that's a bad example because yeah. if I shit my pants, you'd be embarrassed. Yes, so I would. So you wouldn't tell your girlfriends because of you. Yeah. So I can't think of an example really off the top of my head, but like girls will say anything to each other. So I'm always like, I feel it's like you're not about trustworthy. Like, I think with the, the kind of stuff I talk to my girlfriends about, if I talk about you is like when you don't understand something or you're just a dick, like they'll be like talking about their husband who's being a dick about some subject. And I'm like, yeah, Bodhi doesn't get it either. And then I'm, that's when I'll do the like co-misery yeah. thing on like husbands. Okay. But, but it's more just about the male species. You, it is more true than like you, you. You will open up about, okay. Yeah. I think I got it. Okay. Because I have more to say about maybe single... something of when I have a whole little like side like subcategory okay. on this. Okay, I do agree that single girls will be like, "Oh my god, my oh, boy, his dick my boyfriend huge. my boyfriend has a crooked dick," and like and the he bent me be... over and blah, right. blah, blah, blah. But married women are probably like they're not going to do it. Like I share stories from when I was dating back when I was dating, and oh, I've I got know. horror stories. Like I'll share, share them. You love your you love your, your... but they're. They're entertaining. They're yeah, awful. But I'm not even going to say them, but you say them all the time. And I'm always yeah. like, oh God, here comes the fucking... <laughs> here comes the shock value story. <laughs> <laughs> but but you do commiserate about husbands being dicks. Yes. And that is a good point because I would never be like, my wife is such a bitch because... <laughs> and I don't share with my friends, my wife is a bitch because... Uh -huh. But I do make jokes... What's the version of it that you do do? Mainly would be like, come on, cough it up. There's something. There's a, there's a, there's some guy version of it. I think the guy version of it. Okay, the guy version. Of I it think you like, talk about chicks that you'd like to fuck yeah. that are hot. Yeah, the guy and version. And how you don't get to because you're married. But oh, wouldn't totally. that be nice? And then you guys talk all totally. about that. Totally, the guy version is like, like. But don't do it because I don't want to see. I don't want people to see what you look like doing that. Is that I'm okay? not going to talk about fucking anybody. But like the example would be like. Like if we're like Gal Gadot and be like, yeah. oh my god, Gal Gadot. Yeah. And and then that would elaborate. And that's and then that's our little getting off moment of like yeah. ta talking about like she's hot. But yeah. I don't I'm one I'm on the better side of things. I well meaning I don't get crass about it. No, I know you don't. It's not my nature. No. You've never been like that. But girls' version of that is like my husband's such a dick. And I got yes. like I would never be like Jenna's such a bitch because right. even if you are a bitch. I would never, I'd well, say Well, that's you. because for women, it's the emotional annoyance. And for men, it's the physical frustration. Perfect. You solved it. You I'm a it. genius. You fucking solved it. What was the other side note that you wanted to pontificate about? Um, it's something that every time I point it out, you refuse me and, and shoot me down. Mm -hmm. Like, no, no, you don't know what you're fucking talking about. <laughs> no, it's not that. That's not it. It's not a thing. It's not a thing. And it's not a thing. And I have a suggestion. Mm -hmm. But you don't, you just shoot me down and never want to make any change or adjustment on it. And well, it's something that like literally stresses me out so much. Well, okay. So turn the volume to like from 10 to 7 and let's talk about it. Was it if, at 10? Well, it, sometimes it, I know you, you can get to 10 fast. So maybe I should bring it to like 3 so if it ran up to 7, I can still okay. take it. Because you'll Listen, go to 10 really honey. quick. So when... Oh, just tell me. When you talk... No, you don't need to do like Martha Stewart. <laughs> just tell me. What is it? But is that really how Martha Stewart talks? Okay, when you are handling financial things and you get on with the credit card company as me. <laughs> you need to back this up for people. Here's the thing. I have, I handle all of the accounts of our house. Yeah. Like credit cards, accounts. We know. All that shit. Okay. And I have all, of, and it's a lot. In this day and age, there's not just someone has like a bank account and the Rotary Club account. Everyone has like 45 accounts with different settings and credit cards and what plans do you have? And it's a nightmare. I have a high voice. So I get to be on the phone as Jenna and handle all of that shit so she doesn't have to. Okay, good. So it's very when, easy. When do I get to say something? I'm not done yet. Okay, I gotta, go ahead. This is, this is, this is, let me just, <sighs> if you had to fucking do what I had I to do. I don't care about you 
doing all that. I'm appreciative. What does that have to do with that? I can say, why can't you just say, yeah, that you're my husband? Because they'll say, can you put Jen on the phone? I can't give you that information. Good. So then if you're going to be me, do I get to make a request? Fair enough. What is your request? Because so sometimes you'll be like, <laughs> you are such, you're, you're, you'll be pushy. You'll be strong. And what if they're like, Jesus Christ, Jenna Elfman's a fucking bitch. Oh, that's already probably occurred on so, different but, but when I airlines. say, can you not be that way? Can you just have, like, because you're like being Jenna, but you're doing Bodhi as Jenna. And that does not work for me, though I'm grateful that Incredible. you're taking care of it's the It's very things. fair of you to ask. But it's like shit PR for me. Oh, it's very and, fair of you to I, I have no argument. you shoot argument. it down. You're like, I don't care. Now nah, that I'll put it together. I have I'm like no leg to stand on here. Yet, at the same time, sometimes I have to say, well, listen, here's the thing, you fuckwad. No. Uh, no. But I mean, like, you, listen, here's the thing. You're going to reschedule the flight and you're not going to charge me $150 when you guys canceled the last fight last minute. So just reschedule the flight and you choke up the $150 fee. And sometimes there's just no way you could be as and nice as you And what if they're like a fan of mine? And then at the end of it, I'm like, would you like an autograph picture? Like I have one simple request. It's fair. If I'm you know, how if I it, do okay, it. look, if you have to be me on a phone, yeah. but you know, this is one where it could go down asshole lane. Yeah. Then just, like go hi or can we just do this here's how to avoid the whole thing just put you on my account as the account manager so you don't have to pretend to be me and then be an asshole and ruin my reputation many accounts i'm the account manager and that is the case some sometimes they need to talk to you and then i'm like i'm not gonna go grab you for a 45 minute call transferred around to 10 people it's so i just do it and you know there's but a lot then of companies can you just not be a dick yes See, I thought but you, you, you just, you shoot me down. You no, just, no, I you disregard. You go, well, nah, well, you're nah, very nah, smart. Nah. You got me on camera now. Like you got, you, you brought it up on the podcast. So now I have to be extra nice about it and be like, sure, honey. It's that's embarrassing. Like I cringe when you're, I walk through the room you're, and you're ramping, you're uh, ramping, you're ramping. Like that's why I started at three. See, I, <laughs> I cringe when I walk through the room and I see you're being a dick. <laughs> as me it really bothers me because i work hard to treat people the way i would like to okay, be treated i have so a request. could you please I have just a... have the golden rule when pretending to be me is that too much to ask for Bodhi elfman if How's that? i cooperate with this request i have a request uh-huh <laughs> which is <laughs> which uh -huh. is when you tell me something and i say okay i can stop talking because you, no. once you've ramped and you're on the... <laughs> <laughs> Go away. It's my stick. Look how much I got you. I fucking, you sprayed me with a toxic spray just now. To show me. Yeah, it's, it's peaceful. What <laughs> did you just do? Look what she just it's fucking sprayed. peaceful spray. patchouli. She just sprayed this in my fucking face. <laughs> I sprayed it in my face. It's, that's it's how, peaceful. That's how much I got you. Orange. That's how much I got you. You ramp and you won't shut up once I say You know okay. why I don't shut up? Because you go, you go, okay, I got it. To shut me up, but not, okay, I get it. In a way that shows understanding. No. So then I go, he's just shutting me up. He doesn't actually understand. So I keep talking. And I know, ladies, this is something we all do. And I know, dudes, this is where you start daydreaming about your other <laughs> hobbies. Because the woman won't shut up. Because you make the acknowledgement that just shuts her up, not make her feel like she's been understood. That's Rewind all we want. Rewind the podcast to the point where I said, you're right. <laughs> That's all you need. That's it, Your Honor. Probably, I think, hey, three times. I'll have to go times. back and walk. Yeah, it was probably three times. Oh, I really caught to it. <laughs> but you were still, you had started, the engines were like, you had clicked on the engaged the fuel injectors, <laughs> okay. and you are going to the fucking moon. Okay. Well, what I thought you were going to say... <laughs> I have so much charged up beef about this. It's years now. About me being you on the phone? And me making requests and you shooting me down. That's uh, why I don't trust you. I When you say, okay, because I've asked so many times. I thought what you were going to say is like, because I'll, 
I can't. Well, I can't help but to flirt with a girl if they're on the phone. Not sexually, but to be charming. As Jenna Elfman? But to be charming. And and then I, for, that's what I'm and saying. And then I realize that I'm being you. And I'm like, I'm like, so where, what part of the country are you in? Oh, Arizona. Oh, my, my wife. I mean, my parents live in <laughs> So I always get caught, like, being you. And I'm, like, being charming. I'm like, oh, wait, wait, I'm Jenna. So most people think. Because you have a so dude brain. Almost all the women that do phone answering across the U.S. and in the Philippines think that you're a lesbian. <laughs> fine as long as i'm not an asshole <laughs> yeah that's, that's my problem that i have is when you're like well then i guess you're an i guess a lot of them think you're an asshole an asshole lesbian <laughs> because i both flirt and i'm tough but it's like the toughness is what i really i hate yeah. it I, I'll, I'll change it but you can say it a couple I don't, of times i like you being tough sometimes you have to be tough with someone on the phone but don't do it as jenna elfman because <laughs> that's not how i would handle a problem with even, someone even like Tax agents and IRS and... No, I do I a don't. different route. I go about it a whole different way of how I handle people. So then I feel like, ooh, I'm being misrepresented. And I hate that feeling. Okay. Especially as a known person. It is very... We are in an odd phenomenon. I bet there's not many people watching the podcast whose husbands are being their wives on customer service calls and being dicks and it's making the, mad, the wife mad. This is a very unique well, situation. Well, the wife, wife might find it funny if she's not a, a known person who someone who you're talking to on the phone might know who she is. A couple times I've had people say, this is, you tell me your name, Jenna Elfman. Jenna Elfman? Like, yeah. Oh, I, I'm a big fan. And I'm like, oh, God. So now they're trying to reconcile that. It doesn't sound like And then like did you Jenna. forget that they said that and then go on in the phone call to be an asshole? No, that was really nice. But the point is, is that there must they must think that your voice has changed as, as you've gotten older, like to where you now... Sound, it bugs me. You, that you now sound like a high-strung Jew. <laughs> Jewish well, that's male. The thing too, is a high-strung Jewish male. And you'll have them on speakerphone, and then you, like, cut them off, or you're like, the thing, and I'm just like, oh, my God, he's being mean. If they know this is me, then they're, like, think this is not how I am, and now I'm being misrepresented. I hate yeah, it. It I bugs think, me. I think we've got to move on from here. I think we've got to move on. Like, but, I think we've got look. to. look. Well, the collective we or you? Well, and me. <laughs> but you're just trying to shut me up. But I don't know how else to go about the conversation. But are you like, I get it, totally. Like, I get you've it. You've never said, I get it, but <laughs> it's not, guys. What else do Listen, I do? You, you acknowledge your wife is not to shut her up. You acknowledge her to like really like understand and let her know she's understood and that change is going to happen. Otherwise, we will keep talking. Are you going to change your ways, Mr. Elfman? But you, I, you see, what is this? It? No, because this I feel is like I keep talking. Why are you baffled? Like you, because I feel like you want me in the ground on it. Like, no, just, I just want you to be like, like I totally get it. I would hate it too. But All I right, did do so that. So from now on, I'll like, there's no change. I you did. Just shut me up. No, I did. Really? Yeah. Oh, can you repeat it so I can really feel reassured? <laughs> do, 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 uh -huh. do, rewind the podcast or just do it no, again? No, just do it again. It makes sense. Because if it's really handled, you'll have no problem with it. It makes yourself. sense to me that you wouldn't want to be misrepresented. You can't even say it. Can't even say it. Because I feel a little nervous. You feel like the eyes are very... Yes, because I'm ramped up. They're boring into me. You're ramped to at least seven. <laughs> I think I'm at a good 8.25 right Yeah, now. You're, you've got like a little glaze on the eyes. It's like I I can feel it. Yeah. And they're... Don't misrepresent me. I'm looking, I want to see what it looks like on camera. Because <laughs> you're ramped. I am. I'm like the cat when he gets all <laughs> jacked up from our son playing with him. I'm like... <laughs> totally. Your eyes are like... Even, actually... Your eyes are they vibrating a little bit? Yes, but your eyes aren't even dilated. They're opposite of dilated. They're like, like pinpoints. Pinned? Yeah, which is interesting because I'm it's... full intention right now. Yeah, because you're not letting in more light. You're letting in less light, which means that you must have found your prey and you don't need any additional <laughs> light for it. <laughs> you've, you've actually got your prey. Yeah. Now you just need to laser in for the kill. Yeah. You're not looking for additional light sources. Yeah. Your eyes are... Your pup like they're, di they're like completely the opposite of dilated. What is that called? Pinned. I yeah, don't know. Yeah. I think pinned. Pinned. There you pin. Pin. I have another confession, but I don't know if you want me to change the subject. Go for it. But it has to do with your voice. Well, it has to do with not your voice. Well, I get embarrassed to... that my voice is high anyway. No, it doesn't have to do with your voice. I know when I try to change it, it just no, sounds no, no, natural. No, no, no. Your voice is you. It's fine. I have a funny voice too. You have a funny voice. But it has to do with, um, well, <laughs> you know how, <laughs> okay, I have a confession. Are you I... ready? Yeah. Okay. Because remember like on our honeymoon, how like all the Jamaicans, we did a podcast about this before. All the Jamaicans were like, calm down, man. And you're like, I'm 
Jamaican tells me to calm down. Right? Because, yeah. Okay. Yeah, do you want to elaborate because, for those that haven't listened okay, to the episode Okay, because he's two? just can be very like a cross, I don't know what you're a cross between when we're traveling and you're trying to coordinate things, but you're a bit of a control freak, but in a very high strung kind of way. And you feel the need to control every little particle of every piece involved in a trip. But I mean every piece. And it's been 30 years. Yeah. I thought maybe this was something you'd grow out of or you'd calm your way into uh -huh. it. But we just did a little trip recently. And did you're you exactly the I, same. Did you feel I was that way on the trip? Oh, I felt every tendency was slamming you towards it. But you knew that I don't like it. And so you would catch yourself and then try to be like, <laughs> yeah, but whatever. It's cool. Whatever. It's all. You would try to like do that. And so... I have a thing because the high strung thing, <laughs> the high strung thing, your high strungness thing sometimes. <laughs> and so I, me and the boys have recently started going to a chiropractor, right? Oh, okay. I and thought, I thought you were like, you guys have like, you guys get together and laugh about me. So I found a new place in another state. <laughs> me and the boys are going to go. <laughs> okay, got it. No. So yes, the chiropractor. So I'm taking my kids to a chiropractor here and um, and it's a different chiropractic technique yeah. than I've had in the past. Yeah. And I've noticed the takeaway, the big, we are all having huge improvements. Um, and I'm the only one not going. You're the only one not going. And the big takeaway is we are all calming down. I mean, not really Easton, but he's just energetic and growing anyway. But like, it's why you've been pushing for me to go to this chiropractor. I want you to, because I'm wondering if maybe the adjustments are going to calm you the fuck down. And that's why I want you to go to the chiropractor. <laughs> that's why you were so caring. You've never been that caring about my, about my fucking health. You're like, I really think you'd get a lot of benefit from this guy. He does a very interesting technique. I think you're going to like it. I'll make an appointment for you today. I'll pay for the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> okay. I just wanted to be open about it, but I think it would benefit you. All right. I'm because gonna... because especially like when we traveled recently, I saw hardly anything's changed. And thus getting sprayed <laughs> in the face by the by the fucking peaceful patchouli. You just had oh, more you know self discipline, what? but your impetus uh, hadn't changed. I think the camera does the turnaround. No, it'll be okay. It looks like it's backwards, but it won't be. Okay. Peaceful. Peaceful patchouli and sweet Being orange. The key word. So this is why you were spraying my face like as if I was an insect. <laughs> um, all right. Hey. I mean, it's okay. You don't have to calm down if the chiropractic doesn't accomplish that. At least it'll straighten out your bones. Good. Well, here's what I'm going to do. As Jenna Elfman. I don't want some like hidden I, thing where I'm like, no. see, is it working yet? As Jenna Elfman, I'm going to call up today and make an appointment for myself. <laughs> so sweet. Hi, this is Jenna. Oh my God. What a gorgeous day. How are you doing? <laughs> Oh, how, how's your uncle? Oh, wonderful. Yeah, I'd like to make an appointment for my tense husband. Oh, he's such a dick. Anyway, <laughs> um, before we head out into the wild blue yonder, why don't you uh, talk about your your new podcast that's so fucking fantastic, and I just want to make sure everybody's watching. Oh, thanks, honey. Yes. Um, I have a sisterhood podcast, which is much different. A vodcast. It's a YouTube show. Yes. Yeah. And a podcast. You can watch it. You can listen. You can do whatever the hell you want with it. Um, but it's a sisterhood as opposed to the marriage subject matter. It's with my friend Heather Dale, and it's called The Jenna Elfman and Heather Dale Show. And on Instagram, it is at Jenna and Heather is our Instagram. And it's a YouTube channel and wherever you listen to podcasts. And it's all about things that us girls talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Minus the things he thinks we talk about. Right. But we do. I, I did say in that early, one of the early podcasts, I, yeah, you just don't get. No, I did. I, I talked shit about you. I heard you. I yeah, did. I, I talked shit. It. And apparently. But I have precedent to talk bad about you because we have this podcast. Right. Heather hasn't really uh, shared anything but about. But she said her husband was fascinated by the episode. Couldn't turn away. Oh, yeah. He really liked it. Yeah. But I, and he was getting thrown under the bus as much as I was. So we both were kind of like, wow, this is happening. Well, maybe you guys will learn more about us. <sighs> I doubt it. I don't feel like you have the capability to really, I, I feel like there's a, you know, like with with business managers, you know, or certain people who work for you, they take a percent and then there's a cap. There's a cap. There's a ceiling yeah, to so, how much I can understand about you. Yes. Thank yeah, you for I, your, see, but that's the, fa <laughs> that's the fastest you've understood anything. <laughs> you didn't know? After 30 
31 years, you don't know that I have a ceiling for how much I understand about you? But no, that you know that there's a ceiling. Yeah, I barely understand you as it is. Yeah. And then you just get more magical and complex and fucking confusing. And the ceiling, I don't know if the ceiling's going up or you're getting more mysterious or I'm getting dumber, but uh -huh. whatever it is, I'm more baffled by you now than I was 31. I felt like I fully understood you the first two years we were together, and it's been a decline since then. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. I don't think that's on me. <laughs> I don't think so either. Yeah. All right. But well, I love you a I love lot. You. I love you mostly a lot too. Yeah, most of the time. Most of the time. Well, I always love you. You know what my mom used to say? What? This is like trying to get off the phone with my mom. Like, okay, bye. But wait, one more thing. I've been trying in this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you ramped. <laughs> Fucking ramped up. <laughs> my mom would say, I always love you. Sometimes I may not like you. Like when I was a little kid, she's like, I may not like you. But I always love you. Even when I don't like you, I always love you. It was like her reassuring me and it like went in and I never forgot it. It's so whenever she'd be statement. mad at me, I'd be like, oh, she doesn't like me right now. But it's still, I know she loves me. Yeah. So, so I feel well loved, but disliked. <laughs> there you go. That's what it is. <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe. And we want to hear your comments. We love your comments. We read them all. Except for the asshole ones. Oh, we just delete those. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. <laughs>